Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to learn about the user requirements in the subject of software engineering. So in this video, we will learn what user requirements are with an example and how usually the user requirements are specified and what is the requirement of this user requirement. All those things we will be learning in this video. Okay, so let's get into the video. First of all, user requirements are the requirements which will describe what the users need from the application or from the software. I mean what the users need the application or software that we are uh, we are going to develop, what it has to do, what is the purpose of that application or what is the purpose of that software. So from user's point of view, what a user wants is the user requirements. Okay. For example, let us say you are doing a home food business. Okay. You are doing some snacks, some homemade snacks, homemade pickles or homemade whatever it is, you are you're doing some home food business where the requirement of the user is to create a website and to take the online orders and payments from their customers. Okay, let us say you are you you are you want you are having a business and somebody has to order it the food from you, right? So how they will order, like how you order food on Zomato, Swiggy and all, on Uber Eats and all, the same way people uh, will come and order the uh, items from your website right so your requirement here is to have a website and what that website has to do it has to be able to take the online orders and also be able to take the payments and what you want to display on the website you want to display the menu what are the uh, prices of the items the photos of the items if possible so you want to display all these things on your website okay so this is your requirement and usually this user requirements are in natural language that means they are in a very simple language no heavy technical terms involved or something like that usually they are very simple okay and um, also they are non-technical and they are also written on a very high level so you don't have a lot of technical descriptions or technical terminologies involved they are totally non-technical and it is on a very high level okay so now the main thing that you have to remember in this case is use, user requirements are generally smart. So what do you mean by smart? So smart stands for specific, measurable, achievable, uh, relevant and time bound. I will explain you each of them with an example too so that you can easily remember. So let us see each of them one by one. Okay. First, they are specific. What do you mean by specific? They are very clear. The requirements are very clearly given to you. They are not vague. That means uh, let us say uh, the user is asking to give some uh, some uh, method or some interface to take the payments. So payments means here what they have to clearly mention what type of payments are accepted and what type of payments are not accepted. Let us say cash on delivery is not accepted. Okay, Only card payments or UPI payments only these are accepted and cash on delivery and checks and all these things are not accepted. That has to be very clearly mentioned. Okay, this is one of the example. I don't mean that only, only that is the example. This is one of the example. Next, M stands for measurable. Measurable in the sense you should be able to test and you should be able to verify that particular requirement. That means, uh, let's say a user is asking you, let's say uh, the website should be very fast or the website or the app has to be very fast. Then, what do you mean by fast? Fast in the sense it has to be how fast there is no limit or there is no bound for this fastness right so it has to be very clear the page should maximum it has to uh, get loaded in 5 seconds or 10 seconds there has to be a bound for everything they, they should be measurable and next is achievable achievable means the, the requirements should be realistic and they should be implementable let's say the customer is coming and asking a developer to develop a website which will never go down that means the server or the website should never be down but sometimes it is possible even for very big mnc's also sometimes their applications might crash their servers might crash they might not work right so the same might happen to the website as well uh, it could happen because of any reason right so this is also something which is not realistic we will try to minimize the downtime as much as we can but it should never be done is not possible next r stands for relevant relevant means it has to align with the business goals so um, again let's take an example for easy understanding uh, let's say what in our example what is our business it is a 
food home food business right so in this biz in this uh, website or app you will have a home page let's say in this home page you are displaying some stock market data so is stock market data something related to the home food business no right if you display some nutrition related information or some healthy foods these foods are healthy for you these foods have this many calories these foods have this much protein if you display that kind of information then it will be relevant uh, but instead of that you are displaying some random stock market information or some st random something information which is not relevant that is irrelevant so the requirements has to be relevant they should be according to the business goals and time bound what do you mean by time bound that means uh, you should have a particular deadlines or a particular timelines for the project that means i want the project to be completed in three months six months one year okay you should have these deadlines and you should also i mean in the organization once uh, the user gives you the requirement you should also uh, divide the timelines like okay i'll do it in i'll do the development in three months next i'll take one month for testing next i will take two weeks or three weeks or whatever for deployment everything you have to figure out okay so this is about the user requirements so very simple video and almost everything is theory here so usually the user requirements should be smart that means they have to be very specific and they should be measurable they should be achievable and they should be relevant to what is your domain and they should also be time bound okay they should be done in a particular time okay so this is all about this video guys i hope this video is useful to you if yes please hit the like button and share it with your friends uh, and if you have any video recommendations for me or if you have any questions doubts let me know in the comment section i'll be very happy to help you thank you so much for watching the video